everyone, I'm Shanas from Manage Engine and in this video we're going to be talking about the world's most dangerous malware, Emotet. Now Emotet was originally discovered as a banking trojan that stole financial information or bank login credentials. But over the last decade, Emotet evolved to become a malware distribution service that distributed spyware, ransomware and other malicious software to all cyber attackers across the globe. Now what exactly does Emotet do in a network? Well, for initial access, Emotet relies basically on phishing campaigns where it attaches malicious links or malicious attachments to a lot of phishing emails and sends it to users within a network. And it sends it to users in such a way that they're lured to click on these malicious links or attachments. And once a user clicks on these malicious links or attachments, he's then prompted to enable macros. Now, once the user enables macros, it is just basically giving permission to the malware to get downloaded onto their system. So, Emotet has a polymorphic nature, which means that it has dynamic link libraries whose code get changed every time the Emotet malware is called. So in such circumstances, it becomes extremely difficult for your antivirus and anti-malware softwares to identify the existence of such a malware in any network. So once the initial access is done, Emotet then looks for contact lists or mailing lists of the user present in the network. So it finds a list of email IDs that it can send malicious links to and it then succeeds in doing so. So when these phishing emails originate from a sender within the network, they appear even more legitimate and chances are the users who are receiving it will more likely click on these links that are sent from the infected user originally. So Emotet spreads laterally in the network and also it's very important to note that Emotet is completely equipped to identify sandboxing environments. It can also identify if it's being run on a virtual mission. So it's again, extremely difficult to detect the presence of Emotet within any network. So it can easily evade defenses in any network. So once Emotet spreads laterally in the network, it then goes ahead to infect browser caches to steal information such as logon credentials, personal information, financial information, and so on. And it then exfiltrates the data. So you may think that this may end here, but that's where Emotet gets even better. So it goes ahead and deploys ransomware or any other spyware in the infected system before or after it exfiltrates the data from the infected system. So to prevent against Emotet, there are a lot of tools that are available. But before that, at a user level, you need to educate the users about phishing campaigns, about phishing emails, or about not clicking on malicious links or attachments. And at an organizational level, you need to invest in web content filtering tools to make sure that your users are not prompted to click on any application or to access any applications that are unsanctioned in your network that are basically harmful and malicious. And you can also invest in a good UEBA module or the user and entity behavior analytics module. Now what this UEBA module does is that it's going to let you know if someone acts strangely within a network, if someone's going to uh, do abnormal activities within a network, be it a user or an entity, you will get notified with the help of the UEBA module. Now a SIM tool has a UEBA module and also nowadays SIM tools must have a CASB built within them, which is going to help you perform web content filtering. So if you invest in a good SIM tool, you can steer clear of ransomware attacks, malware attacks, and in this case, even if the malware is the world's most dangerous malware emotet, you have a chance of preventing yourself against such attacks. Thank you.